John Morant is what Derrick Rose could look like in the modern NBA, so what if Rose replaced Ja on the Grizzlies? Would he bring home some championships? I'm starting in Ja's rookie season, and every season Rose does worse than Ja did, he gets a boost from this board. If he does better, he gets nothing. In his first season in Memphis, Rose would have some great averages, but the Grizzlies as a whole would finish 34 and 48, four worse than Ja did in his rookie season. But no one cared about the new rookies because LeBron James is coming home with MVP. Okay. And it would be for some pretty good reason because the Lakers finished 76 6. Oh my god, league's better than everybody else. Memphis misses the playoffs, but the finals would be LeBron and AD on the Lakers versus KD and Kyrie on the Nets. For sure, a close series that might be one for the ages in Orlando bubble. Never mind. All right, well, there you have it. The Lakers are NBA champions again. Apparently, LeBron was just destined to win the LeMickey ring in 2020. And I mean, come on, did you really think anybody else was going to be winning the finals MVP? Also, look at the bum, Danny Green, just standing behind him. You did nothing. The 2020 draft is up, and the Celtics are trading Marcus Smart and Jalen Brown for their first round pick. What the hell? The Nets just traded Jalen Brown and Marcus Smart for Anthony Edwards. Oh my god. Also, Knicks fans, stand up for LaMelo being drafted number two and heading home to New York. Now, because Derrick Rose ended up finishing worse than John Murray in their first season, we're going to give him a nice little boost on the board. We're going to go number 10, which is plus 50 to his steal, something he honestly massively needs. Rose's second season would be the definition of average, as the team went 41 and 41, but it still was three wins better than Ja in 2020, and Rose is still killing it individually. Finally being in the playoffs, they would see the Clippers, but they wouldn't start the series too great. Oh no, Rose, D-Rose, we need something better than this, 3-1. But the Grizzlies would kick up winning game five in a game where Valachunas didn't miss a shot. Game six would be Rose carrying, and the first game seven of his career is here but they would win it pretty convincingly. Next would be the Trailblazers, and after making another 3-1 comeback, they would be at the line up two with their playoff hopes on the line. All right, Jared, for a slightly more comfortable two-point lead at the free throw line right here, dang, it's good, but I hate his free throw animation. Oh no, Lillard's got it. That's a passion on Nurkic. That's dunk, they're down two. Oh my God, they're gonna get so close to getting a 3-0. Oh my no, Lillard with the dunk. They're choking this. <sighs> there it is. And they, um, they choked the comeback. The finals would be Jalen and the Pistons versus LeBron. All right, and there we go. LeBron wins it 4-2, and Anthony Davis is actually finals MVP. Jalen Brown almost led the Pistons to a championship. Ja's third season would be when the Grizzlies would put it together, but Derek only gets a little bit better than last season. Rose would be headed to another game seven versus the Jazz, but it wouldn't go in their favor again this time. Yeah, I expected that. Well, either way, I guarantee you that whoever it plays at the Lakers next is probably going to lose. And there you go. Yep. LeBron's probably getting another championship. Derek is starting to get the reputation as a playoff choker, but he finished worse than Ja, so to the board we go. So we get another board right here for Derek Rouse. He's going to get a boost. We're going with number 13, which is every single playmaking badge, Hall of Fame. Rose is continuing his near MVP level play, but Jaron Jackson is now a 24.8 a night player for the Grizzlies, and they now have a record of 52 and 30. But a big shakeup in the NBA is happening. AD left LeBron and joined the Clippers and is now an MVP on the Clippers. The first round this time is the San Antonio Spurs, but they're down 3-0 to the 7 seed Spurs. And the disappointment actually wouldn't end there. So not only did they go down 3-0, to the seven seed Spurs, they are going to get swept. AD leaving the Lakers wouldn't even be the craziest thing this season as Ben Simmons is a finals MVP, averaging a triple double in the finals. I cannot believe it. Derek didn't win a championship before Josh, so I have a surprise to help him. Since Derek Rose gonna win a championship before John Morant has had the ability to, we are now gonna give Derek Rose one of his all time teammates for this next season. You can see everybody on this wheel is an all-time team of Derrick Rose. We got guys like Kyle Korver, Joe Kim and Noah, J.R. Smith, even LeBron James and Carmelo Anthony because he played with them for a little bit. So let's spin it and see who we're getting right here. The first teammate is going to be Carl Anthony Towns. 
With the addition of Cat, the Grizzlies now have three crazy scorers on the team, and they would finish the season 58 and 24 because nobody could stop them on offense. But again, something insane is happening in the NBA. Ben Simmons is MVP almost a triple double average and is shooting 95% from the free throw line and he hasn't made a three. Now, in the first round of the playoffs, they would blast the Rockets full row. The second round, they would beat Zion and the Jazz, meaning Rose is in his first ever Western Conference Finals. But there is one problem. It's the San Antonio Spurs that knocked him out last year. Can Rose overcome them this time? Last year, as a seventh seed, the Spurs got up to a 3-1 lead to beat the Grizzlies in five. But this year, as a one seed, Rose would go up 3-1. In game five, the Grizzlies would lose by three despite Rose dropping 48 and 15 in the game. But in game six, Cat would drop 30 and it would be a pretty easy win. Waiting for them in the finals, though, is MVP Ben Simmons and the 76ers. They would fight hard trading the first four games, but Philly would take game five, forcing Rose and the Grizzlies to turn up if they want a chance at the ring. And they would do exactly that in game six. And as a 31 point win, Jaron Jackson and Aaron Rose both dropped 30 point double doubles setting up yet another game seven for Rose, but this time it's all or nothing. There's 30 seconds left and it's a 22 point lead. The 76ers have actually led the entire game. And look at that, Doc Rivers and Ben Simmons lead the 76ers to a chip. And Ben Simmons now is a two dime finals MVP. What is happening? And another L means another wheel spin for Rose, but maybe this one brings home a godly player for a championship. All right, Derrick Rose didn't win again, which means you get another all-time teammate spin, but if this all-time teammate doesn't bring him a championship, I have another surprise for him after the next season. So let's spin this one right here and see who his teammate is going to be. He is getting the Bulls Taj Gibson. That's not bad, but another big man. Taj Gibson joining the team would actually make the team a bit worse, but it did help with one thing. Oh my god, Derrick Rose is winning an MVP averaging 31 and 12. This dude's different. Despite the slightly worse season, the Grizzlies would make the finals again, beating the Mavs in 5, Kings in 7, and lastly Zion on the Jazz in 7. And the finals would have a very familiar enemy, Ben Simmons. But now, he's a Milwaukee Buck. Even with a completely new team, Ben would be hard to beat, leading to another Game 7 for Rose. Maybe this one will finally be it. The matchup everyone has their eyes on is Rose versus Ben. But again, ooh, Rose, come on with the comeback. You need to do this. Rose, please come back. Put it a little bit. There. Ah, I think this one is at, it's out of reach. And Ben Simmons again is going to be an NBA championship. He has three championships now, hasn't taken a single three, and now he's on the I mean, this is just unreal. Since Rose can't even win with two of his best teammates, I have to take matters in my own hands, adding John Morant back to the Grizzlies. And even with another insane PG on the team, Rose is an MVP back-to-back -back times now. This could be the year. And again, the Grizzlies make the finals. And again, Ben Simmons and the Bucks are on the other side. They're pros. You are up 3-2. Last year this happened, and you lost. Please don't let it happen again. And this time would look different. Thank the Lord. Derrick Rose. All he needed was Ja to do it. They bled the entire game. This is the championship. Just because I can't do it, we're going to do it. Take Derrick Rose right to the rack and get the dunk. Oh my god, that was he. Now, not only that, we got to get a dunk with John Morant. He's got Dante DiVincenzo on him. Oh, there's the blow by. Boom, in the green on that dunk. This probably would be one of the most fun teams to watch in NBA history. I mean, just look at these guys. And this took so annoyingly long, painfully long. But there we go. The Memphis Grizzlies and Derrick Rose are now NBA champions. All the took was John Morant to join the team. Rose finally won a championship swapped with John Moran. But what if Larry Bird and Magic Johnson swapped teams? Who would win a championship then? 